What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I ended up getting into Georgia Tech. Currently I'm a first year student here at Tech. Um, I'm majoring in CS, but originally I came in as a BME or biomedical engineering major. Before I get into like all the nitty gritty, I want to just say that I'm not an admissions officer, so I don't really know exactly why I ended up getting in or how I got in, but I can give my best guess and I can really tell my story of how I applied and basically what I did to give you guys a better idea of my application and how me as a person, how I got into tech. Just some general things about me. I am a out-of-state student, so that kind of makes a difference, I guess, in like the admission statistics. I applied um, early action, so uh, the statistics are a little bit different for early action versus regular applicants, so just keep that in mind. First thing that you guys are probably wondering about are my stats. Okay, everyone thinks that stats are like the most important thing, so I'm just gonna put it first so I can just get this out of the way. But honestly, I don't think that they're the most important thing in your application. So just because you don't have certain stats doesn't mean that you're going to get in or doesn't mean that you're not gonna get in. I think it, a lot has to do with how you craft your application and also like the extracurriculars and your other engagements and how you've really involved yourself in your school. That's really what's gonna end up getting you in. Let's just jump right into the stats. I took the ACT, I think, twice or three times I can't remember but my highest score was a 36 composite look to my uh, previous video on how to get a 36 which I'll link right up above in a card um, for you to watch but I got everything 36 except except the math section which I believe I got a 34 on I also submitted my SAT score I don't know why I did it but I did anyways I ended up getting a 1540 I got a 790 on the math section and a 750 on the reading and writing section. Along with my SAT scores, I group in my SAT uh, two subject tests. So I took three subject tests. I can't remember if I sent all of these to tech or not. I can't really see my Common App anymore and I didn't save it. I should have saved the application, but I didn't. So I'm kind of going based off of what I remember. So if this, some of this might be a little bit inaccurate, but I have a pretty good memory of what I submitted. So I believe I did submit all three of these. I got an 800 on the SAT uh, chemistry. I submitted my 780 on my SAT2 math. And then I got a 800 on my SAT bio um, M, which was for molecular biology. Now my GPA, I got a 4.0 unweighted. I know that for sure because I didn't end up getting any Bs in high school. But my weighted GPA was a 4.7 something, I think 4.74 maybe. I was in definitely in the top percentile of my class. I was not valedictorian or salutatorian, but I was definitely in, I think, around the top 5%. So that kind of gives you an idea of my GPA compared to my classmates, because I, I feel like that matters more than just your numbers. What I did to get that GPA, I took a total of 10 AP classes. I took... Um, AP Research, I took AP Seminar, I took AP Computer Science A, I took AP US History, AP Calc BC, AP Bio, AP Chem, um, AP Physics C, Mechanics, I took AP Human Geography, and AP English Language and Composition. I believe I got two fours, um, both of which were on the, the AP Research and AP Seminar classes. The second section, which I believe is probably the most important part of your application, this is your extracurricular section. I can't remember, again, exactly what I put on my common application, but I do know like the top couple of extracurriculars that I put. And to be honest, like looking back at them from a college student perspective, in high school, you might think that, oh, I've accomplished so much, but looking back at it, it's like, wow, like you did nothing. <laughs> This isn't really a lot. I can't believe I even submitted this to like Stanford expecting to get in because like this is really nothing. Here we go. Let's just get into it. So the first activity that I put on my list, which was the most important and most significant thing that I did in my high school career was a YSP uh, or the Young Scholars Program. Uh, this is basically a six week summer program at uh, Florida State University. 
and it was mainly for STEM students. What we did was we took classes in like Python or other another programming language, I believe C++. And then you could also take like other classes in biology or physics. Well, these weren't classes for college credit, however, they're really competitive classes though still. Also what we did was we had a research project that we worked on on the side. And so my research project was on like density functional theory. It was really like math heavy, but basically it was just a way of visualizing molecules and their lowest energy state. So it had a lot to do with like computational chemistry and material science. Those are the main applications for that research. I believe I might have submitted my research paper in my research poster along with it, with my Georgia Tech application. I can't exactly remember, but those were two important elements of this YSP thing that I did over the summer of my 11th grade year. The rest of the activities might be out of order. These are just kind of activities I just remember putting on my application. I can't remember how important they were to me, so I don't remember the order. The next activity that I that I remember putting down was my science olympiad. In 12th grade, I was the founder of my science olympiad team at our school. Basically, we never had a science olympiad at all. And so I was like 12th grade, I was like senior year, I just wanted to start something new. I just wanted to see how it was. It was something that I'd wanted to do for a while, but just didn't have the time. So now that I had the time, I ended up just starting it and going ahead, just seeing how it ended up going. And uh, we ended up doing pretty well. We placed at districts and we moved on to regionals. Better than I expected, because I didn't really expect much. I basically helped place everyone into their certain events. I like oversaw all of the meetings. I did a lot of the uh, management sort of business. Honestly, this extracurricular was the most fun for me, partly because we went in there with no intention of winning or like we just went in there with the intention of just having as much fun as we could. We built the hovercraft that took forever, but it still was really rewarding to make. It was even more rewarding to see that our hard work had paid off when we ended up placing a district. So totally would recommend if you guys are interested in the Science Olympiad, um, starting up your own team if you don't have one. And I'll just link the Science Olympiad website down below for more information and totally would recommend doing this. It's so much fun. What I have next is my varsity tennis. So from ninth grade to 12th grade, I was involved in varsity tennis. I was on the top five of my team throughout my high school career. And um, some of the accomplishments that I wrote down was we were district champions, um, 10th and 11th grade. And then we ended up going to regionals and we uh, were finalists in regionals in my 11th grade. Another activity that I put down was Mu Alpha Theta. For those of you who don't know what Mu Alpha Theta is, it's a math honor society. I was involved in this in the 11th and 12th grade. I was inducted in 11th and then I gained a leadership position in 12th. I ended up being the vice president in 12th grade. In 12th grade, that's when things started to really change for Mu Alpha Theta. We began tutoring uh, younger students for math counts, which is basically like a uh, math competition. Um, and I believe they did pretty well. I can't remember how they ended up like doing, but I believe they placed. Then we also started our own competitive math team at our school and we ended up <clears throat> doing pretty decent. I think we beat out some of our competitors. And the next activity that I have is band. I was involved in the band from ninth grade to 12th grade. Um, it was something that I really ended up enjoying, but I was involved in pep band, and also we had like a competition called Soul and Ensemble. I listed um, the number of superiors that I got. I can't remember how many I ended up getting, but it was probably around like four or five, I think. Um, and they were from all like, trios, we had quartets, and we had a couple of duets. Also, I've noted down my pit orchestra involvement. Um, this was again from 9th to 12th grade. I was involved in the pit orchestra at our school play, and this was a pretty heavy time commitment, but it definitely was a lot, a lot of fun in the spring semester. And I played clarinet uh, one for almost, I believe, most of the musicals. And the next activity they have, I can't remember if I put this on my application or not, but I just wrote it down anyways, because it's something that I remember doing. It's uh, student government. I was only involved in student government from ninth to 11th grade. I don't think I put this very high on my activities list, but I still put it down because I ended up doing something with it. I was the president of my class in ninth grade. And then in 11th grade, I was vice president. I basically 
helped like manage some of the school events that we had. I believe they had um, a winter formal uh, my 11th grade year and I helped bring in lights and set up and stuff. So that was basically what I did for that. To recap, like looking back on it, it doesn't seem like I did anything majorly like breakthrough or anything that really sold me as an applicant. I could have definitely used the time during the summer of my sophomore and my freshman years to like do something else, experiment, maybe like get myself involved in computer science or some other clubs or definitely take more leadership positions and just roll with it my entirety of my high school career. Cause a lot of the things that I ended up doing, like the science Olympiad team, that was an idea that I had in ninth grade, but I didn't carry through with it until 12th grade. If anyone's looking at this video and, um, and is hesitant about starting their own club in ninth grade, just go for it. Like now is the time to do it. Just own it and just go for it and just see how it ends up working out. I'm sure in the end it'll probably work out fine. Moving on to the third um, thing. This is gonna be my awards. I didn't really end up getting too many awards, at least not on the national or the um, like international level. But I ended up getting the national merit finalist status. Um, so I ended up being a National Merit Scholar. I put that down there. I put my AP Scholar with distinction. Um, I also got a local award from my Chamber of Commerce about my academic achievement. So I put that down as well. And I also put my high school's highest honor award as well. So those are just some of the awards. Nothing like crazy. So I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I was applying to like these higher type, like higher tier schools. They're normally looking for more of the international or the national level um, awards. The fourth thing was my essays. So <sighs> my essays, looking back on them, they look pretty trash. Honestly, I wouldn't even want to like reread them again because they probably would just make me cringe. But I'll just explain the topics of my uh, essay so you get a better idea of like the story that I crafted for my application. With my application, I try to really create an image for me of being this like engineer who thinks a certain way, who problem solves and thinks it analytically. So what I did was I used a metaphor for my Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'll probably just like insert an image somewhere here to show you like the Tower of Pisa that I ended up making. So it was made out of like wood. Remember, it was one of the hardest things that I have ever made. And I made it in, I believe, eighth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, maybe ninth grade, I can't remember. But uh, I use this as a metaphor to describe how I how I problem solved to end up creating this Leaning Tower of Pisa. I remember it broke down multiple times. I was about to give up, but I didn't end up giving up. I persisted and I used this engineering type of mindset to help create the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I, I guess this is what attracted uh, me to Georgia Tech because I kind of crafted this uh, engineering type of mindset for my application. Looking back on it, it kind of seems a little bit uh, like contrived, not like fake, I didn't make it all up, but it seems a little bit like overly exaggerated, like, oh, I completely reframe my chain way of thinking, blah, blah, blah. So like, just remember if you're writing an essay to just try not to make claims that are so overreaching because you are just a high school student. I mean, you couldn't like, I'm sure like you probably changed your mind, but you probably haven't like, I don't know, you probably haven't made some breakthrough discovery about like the meaning of life in high school. I don't know, that's just my personal take on it. For my GT specific essays, I wrote how I'd contribute to the school through my prior experience with research in material science and engineering, and how I'd take advantage of the BME opportunities on campus, such as BMES and Alpha, Eta, Mu Theta, which was basically the um, BME like honor society. Uh, but little did they know that I would just switch out of BME like a month and a half later. Um, but whatever, they still accepted me. So and I can explain a little bit more of my essays in another video of how I really crafted them. But I just wanted to give you like a general idea of the topic that I went uh, that I went into. I was pretty much it. Let me know if there's anything that I missed down below in the comments. Uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know what you would like to see in like upcoming videos about my college experience or about really anything. 
um, down in the comments. Good luck for anyone who's applying. Just relax right now. I remember in senior year, I was really stressed out. Don't bother. It's not worth stressing out about it because there's nothing that you can really do now. So just sit tight, relax, and I'm sure everything will work out in your favor. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.